Hey guys, today we gonna discuss power over ethernet. First of all, what is power over ethernet, PoE? It is a standard that allows ethernet cables to transmit data and power simultaneously using a single network cable. This allows system integration and network installers to deploy powered devices in locations that lack electrical circuitry. In addition, PO eliminates the expense of installing additional electrical wiring, requiring professional electrical installers to ensure that strict conduit regulations are followed. PO technology relies on the IEEE 802.3 AF, 802.3 AT, and 802.3 BT standards set by the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers and governs how networking equipment should operate to promote interoperability between devices. PO capable devices can be power sourcing equipment, PSE, powered devices, PDS, or sometimes both. The device that transmits power is the PSE, while the device that is powered is a PD. Most PSEs are either network switches or PO injectors intended for use with non-PO switches. How does PoE work? For PoE to work, the electrical current must go into an Ethernet data cable at the power supply end and come out at the device end. With Ethernet, the power current can be kept separate from the data signal so neither interferes with the other. Current enters the Ethernet cable via a component called an injector. If the device at the other end of the cable is PoE compatible, it will function properly without modification. If it is not PO compatible, a component called a picker, or tap must be installed to extract the current from the cable. This picked off current is routed to the power jack. There are a number of devices that can run on PoE depending upon wattage are light emitting diode lighting, security card readers, high performance wireless access points, intercoms, video conferencing, video surveillance cameras. Now, the advantage of power over Ethernet The advantages of PoE include the following Number 1 is the ease of installation. There are no worries about hooking into electrical system outlets. Number 2 is cost savings. Ethernet can carry both power and data signals. Number 3 is safety. PoE automatically stops power current flows if there is a service interruption. Number 4 is data speed. PoE can now deliver data at 1 gigabit per second, Gbps, 10 slash 100 slash 1 comma 0 0 0 megabits per second using CAT5 and CAT6 cables. The IEEE 802.3 BZ PO standard delivers speeds of 2.5 Gbps to 5 Gbps over 100 meters, M. Number 5 is security. PO devices attached to networks with high-level security enjoy the same security protection as other network assets. Now, there are some disadvantages of power over Ethernet Number 1 is outages. A single PO connection usually connects to multiple devices. If there is one failure in the stream of devices, all the devices go down. Number 2 is power limits. Devices supported under the 2003 PO standard are limited to 30W devices requiring higher wattage must comply with PO release IEEE 802.3 BZ. Number 3 is higher switch costs. While PO provides cost savings by combining power and data signals, PO switches cost more than ordinary switches. Number 4 is distance limits. PO power transmission is limited to 100M unless PO extenders or other methods are used to supply power. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.